So picture this, you're leading a new team or you're looking to build a better relationship with a colleague and you know that sharing a bit more of yourself is a great way to build a stronger connection, greater trust between you. And it's only fair that they get to see more of you if you're looking to inspire them, looking to encourage them to take more risk or to up their game. And they want to know a bit more about you, you the person, perhaps your motivations, your styles, the backgrounds, the purpose you have. So how do you disclose strategically and skillfully, knowing when and in what form and how best to do it? Well, you probably know who you don't want to be. The person who overshares, the person who shares their whole life story within two minutes of meeting you, probably making you feel a little bit uncomfortable. Or at the other end of the spectrum, the person who shares absolutely nothing about their life, which in most cases, not all, but most cases, breeds a degree of separation, alienation, maybe uncertainty about the individual. So what can you do? Well, I think the first thing is to make sure your disclosure is relevant, relevant to what you're doing, the task, the goal, the programme of work. So if you are looking to encourage people from different backgrounds, maybe a similar background to you, to get involved, and perhaps they wouldn't before, actually tell them your own story, your background, and where you come from and how it's relevant to what you're doing now. Or if you're looking to encourage them to innovate, to be bold, to be creative, tell them about a story where you've done something and it hasn't worked as a way to make it safer for them to participate. Probably not a great idea to tell them more about your personal woes just before you're pitching for work. I think the second thing you've got to do is make a judgment about the people in front of you. Are these the sort of people who would be actually interested in you, even if you make it relevant to the context and to the task at hand? Some people are interested in the human being, some people less so. That's the reality of business life, so take a judgment. I think you've also got to plan when and in what form to disclose. You can't do it once, build it up over time in different places with different people so they get a picture of you and be conscious about how much you want to share. It's pretty hard to do it in the moment with serendipity, if you like, unless you're very skillful at it, so do plan it. And also talk about what you've learned from your experience, the story that you're sharing. One, because people want to know more about where you've come from or where you're going and when you've, how you've progressed. But similarly, it mitigates a little bit of risk around some people thinking perhaps differently of you or maybe ill of you if the story is not a positive one. And you may or may not care about that. But if you do, worth focusing on what you've learned and how you've progressed from it. And very importantly, share and disclose for your own purpose and don't expect reciprocity. Don't expect them to share their own story as a result, just focus on what you want to do. I remember a situation where a CEO I admire got up in, in front of a, a large group of people and talked about his own sense of feeling an imposter, an imposter syndrome. Everybody gasps, probably <laughs> relaxing and probably feeling more comfortable given we all have it. He didn't just talk about that feeling though, he talked about what he's learned from the experience and how he's building his confidence and capabilities in a new way. My own personal take is we spend a huge amount of time, effort and energy at work. And it's much better, much more enjoyable to know each other a little bit more. It doesn't mean disclosing everything about yourself, but it does mean disclosing strategically and skillfully.